guys, this is Brainiac coming back with another flaws video here. Now, this is more of a performance mod and a rotor and brake DIY how to change. Now this is my first time, this is going to be your first time. So I simply did my first two first just to get the hang of it, now the second two I kind of went expert. So yeah, now the rotors that I have, I'll have the link down below if you guys are a Mazda 3 user, how this will fit, whatever your vehicle is, that is Mazda 3, you know, from 2004 to 2009, I would have to say. And these are slotted rotors, so you get your performance, then you get less of a risk of warping your rotors from, you know, braking too hard. You get brand new brakes, no more squeaking, so you're excelente on that. And yeah, so if you guys are curious, up at the top, this is what they look like, you know, when they're finished. And yeah, you can see the difference, they are ceramic, they don't rust, you know, if they do get a rust, you have a protection coating over it, you know, and basically just follow my steps, you know, I'm just having fun today, doing a little break and, you know, rotor change. But yeah, let's get started in this video, and I'll check you in a couple minutes, or seconds for you guys. Deuces, people. Hey guys, this is going to be our quick unboxing. We, we're black. No, no, no comment against that, but unboxing this box, we're getting, well, a box that's empty right now, because your slotted rotor buddies came out. Now let's just sit that right here. That's what your slotted rotor is going to look like. You're going to see more, but here's the brake kit right here. The other brakes go for the front, back, then you have the rest of your rotors. So we're going to get installing those. So I'll show you what kind of tools you're going to need. Now this is going to be hard. It's my first time doing it. And yeah, I really didn't watch any videos. I'm just going by which bolts look like they need to come off. So let's get to it and there's dirt in my mouth. So yeah, see you in a sec. What's up guys? Now, after since we showed you the unboxing, we did two sides already off camera just so to see how they will come out now I'm gonna show you guys what they look like right now on camera if you guys can see them I don't know if you can that's what the slotted rotor looks like and this is what your junky rotor looks like yeah that has to change so I'm gonna teach you step by step how to do the front and how to do the back the reason I did those two, since it was my first time, it was really difficult to figure out without looking anything up, just trying to figure out, you know, how to get rid open these bolts, how the best way, how to make your pistons compressed. Now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. So hit that like, subscription, and comment down below. And my buddy Dakota is actually helping me. You want to say what's up? What's up? Yeah, he's jacking up the car. Don't do what we do, we use a scissor jack, just not cool. But let's get started with the front one, then we'll work our way to the back. Now, from the front to the back, it is very similar for the Mazda. So you're just gonna have to have a 14 millimeter bolt and a 17 millimeter bolt. So that, yeah, 17 for the front, 14 for the back, and then you're gonna have to have an Allen key to release your little, I don't know what they call them, I guess they're called rubbernecks, yeah, rubbernecks, we're pointing them out as that, so let's get into this, so see you in a sec. Okay guys, now you're just gonna want to start by removing your lug nuts, so let's get to this and take off the wheel, so yeah, let's continue. Okay guys, now this is your brake caliper, this is your rotor. In order to get on a Mazda, the rotor off, I don't know if you guys found any other ways, but me doing this personally today, I found the best ways. Now, this clip right here, this pin, you're going to want to take a flathead. Now, if you paint it your rotor, or not your rotor, if you paint it your caliper, you might want to retouch it up, just because this is going to happen. Now, watch your face because this pin might shoot off, but... I'm going to hold it back. There we go. Didn't even pop off. Now you can slowly just grab it and rip it off. Make sure not to bend it though. So just slowly wiggle it. 
and your pins out, voila. So that's the first step. Now we're gonna move over to step two for this caliper. Okay, my friends, there's gonna be a small cap like this. It's gonna be on here. Now, this cap right here, you're gonna wanna take, uh, let me look at this, let me see what the size is. You're just gonna wanna take the biggest like Allen key, star key type that you can get. Just match it up, make sure it fits. Mine fits, just make it snug. Then you're gonna have your socket, whatever you wanna use. I'm using a breaker bar just to get these bolts off very easily. So I'm just gonna unscrew this guy. Now at the top, like so, there should be another one right here. You just do the same process on that and make sure that you have them out. Now, these are actually just snug in there and when you're done, you can take your screwdriver like so and pry out the bolt and the bolt will come out super easy. Now, when you're putting it on, make sure you line it up correctly. Otherwise, it will not screw in. So let's get unscrewing. Yeah, I don't dream of sitting at the desk job And I don't dream of sleeping at the rest stop I dream of living somewhere it ain't never been cold And me and my homies, we be sipping on a pin for Yeah, I wanna wake up in the beach house Just so I can call a jet and head up to the beat house Yeah, I got a house for it, I ain't been around for it They just make the beats and tell me I should come to town for it Oh, yeah, house just so I can call a jet and head up to the beat house. Yeah, I got a house for it. I ain't been around for it. They just make the beats and tell me I should come to town for it. Oh. Now, after pushing it out, this is what it's going to look like. Just so you guys get a rough draft of what it looks like. See, there's only a little bit of thread. It's actually not a whole bolt, which is actually very different towards me. But, yeah, you just push it out and... Then you do the same thing for the top, like I said before, and then you have those two bolts out, and then I'll show you on the next step. So, let's go over to step three. Right here is going to be the nut. This one right here in particular is a 17. Now that we got our 17 mil, we're going to slowly place it on, make sure it's nice and snug, and then make sure that it's on the point where you can easily access it to move it so when it's broken loose you just do that to the second step and then I'll show you what happens when they are removed so let's get to it now since we removed the two bolts like so this piece comes off now you just take this put it to the side Now, you're going to take this right here, take whatever object you have. I'm going to use the thing I take my tires off with. I'm just going to go. And then wiggle. Okay, guys, it came off. It's Okay guys, now you're just going to walk over to your box where everything's nice and laid out. You're going to find the thicker slash heavier one. And we're going to walk back and put it on. And I'm going to show you what brakes we have to use, by the way, real quick. Okay, now in the box, you'll get these ones. The front ones have the clips. And they're, you know, rubber band together. So these are for your front. So let's get installing. Okay, guys. This piece from AutoZone, it's about $63. And, yeah, um, they literally give you the kit for $63. Bucks. You bring it back the next day, you get your $63 back. Now, that's a guarantee. So you have this piece. You slide this plate through here. Make sure it's locked down all the way. Then you'll have a piece like this. You just want to plant it right here like this, but you're going to have to hold it. Then you're going to take it and stick it on your piston and slowly rotate like this. Now, I'm just going to show you that demonstration really quick. So let's get to that. Okay, guys, now this is what it's going to look like when it's on the piston. 
Now you want to make sure it's tightly on there when you go to start. Now just make sure you twist it enough so it's tight like that. And then you're just going to take this and rotate it and you're going to slowly watch that piston compress. Now if you guys can see right here, the piston is compressing. Now that's just because when you have your new brakes, the brake pads are brand new, so they're super, super thick. And, you know, you're not able to fit it in there unless your brake compressor is compressed. Now this is going to be super tight. You cannot rotate it anymore. Now you're just going to unscrew it like so. Pull it out. That should be nice and flat. Now, this is the last step I'm going to show you for this. You're just going to place your brake pads inside of here like so it's just vice versa so just watch that video step backwards and we're going to put this back on now your rotor right here you're wanting to spray down with some brake fluid because there is a coating on it so we're gonna do this vice versa and then after this step i'm going to show you how to put the back ones on okay guys now this is the back one now all i'm going to say is it's very simple the steps that I did for the first one, it's exactly the same on the back. You have your two bolts for the actual thing, which I took out, and you just wiggle it off. Then, you know, you take your other two bolts off, and then it pulls off this flange, and then you can remove, you know, this rotor. So, yep, after that, it's complete. So, just watch me do my thing in fast motion, and then we're going to throw the wheels on. Take it out for a test drive, just to see the stopping. So... Let's get to it. What's up guys? We finished it. It is 4 o'clock in the morning. We started this at like 10.30 since we are new to this and we had some complications. You can obviously tell. You can obviously tell. Cart has handprints all over it. But we got it finished. Thanks to my buddy Dakota and me. We stayed up pretty much almost all night and tomorrow or Basically, in like two hours, we're gonna get back up and go clean it and take him home. And I gotta go to work, so I might even just pull the all nighter off because two hours of sleep is. I'm not gonna get up after that, but yep, I'm gonna show it off really quick before we end the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so let's go. This is what they look like. Look really cool. You know, and at the end of this video, you're going to see what it looks like daytime. So you guys get a glimpse of daytime. This is nighttime in a garage or technically not nighttime. It's 4 a.m. So whatever you consider nighttime, I consider nothing nighttime. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoy. Deuces, people. Be shitty rapper, motherfucker slam. Let them all know I'm about to win it when they bum my shit right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Ain't nobody fuck around town right now. Yo, what's up guys? I hope you guys enjoyed my flawless video here. Please hit that subscription in the left corner and check out my videos on the right. I hope you guys do enjoy my videos. I love creating them for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces, people.